I'm Kerry Madsen, driver of the Canaric Racing 92 410 Sprint Car, and we're going to do some Sprint Car 101. First thing with a Sprint Car, you're going to need an engine, 410 cubic inch, 900 horsepower, 700 foot pounds of torque, and uh, these things can unleash a power to weight ratio similar to a Formula One car and are very exceptional. Okay, with uh, 900 horsepower, you're going to need some good tyres to put the power down to the track. And Goodyear Racing tyres give us these exceptional tyres. We run a big one on the right rear, circumference of about 106 inches. Left rear anywhere from 90 inches to about 96 inches for different track conditions. And uh, Goodyear give us some great rubber. And uh, we have a varying couple of compounds, but uh, these, these bad boys put the power to the ground. Also, what keeps these sprint cars locked to the track is this 5 by 5 aluminum square wing. Uh, it's a flat body per the rules but these things keep the car planted to the ground and actually when we go in a corner they provide enough downforce they actually pull the left side of the car down going through the corner so the sideboard sail here puts a lot of downforce on the car and that uh, the wing is pretty much what lets us run these cars wide open when the track conditions are right. Also when you uh, have these wings they're also adjustable they go backwards and forwards so the more you pull the car back the better it plants the car. You also need the front wing to push the front of the car down. It really balances the aero package out and um, pushes that car hard into the ground. This is our rear end differential. Solid drive straight to the rear end. Just a little in and out shifter. We also have in the back of our rear end differential, um, they're called quick change gears where we can change our gear ratio for small tracks to big tracks. We have about uh, 25 different ratios we can use. Also, um, what holds the rear end in, we've got bird cages, rear bearing carriers with a torsion bar suspension, followed by a four link bar on the top. And uh, it's, it's pretty simple, but um, over the years it's uh, been refined and uh, very effective for sprint car racing. Now we've all probably seen on TV these things crash, crash violently, and uh, Butler Build have been a real innovator in the last few years and provided us with these full containment safety seats. Uh, they keep the head in place, keep the body in place, and uh, the safety has come a long way in the last few years. Uh, we also wear a Hans Divite with a two-inch belt, but uh, these seats have really, really made me as a driver feel a lot safer and uh, saved my bummer quite a few times. Another great feature of sprint cars is the shock technology for dirt track racing, and it's also come a long way in the last few years. VRP shocks gives us great shocks. Uh, we run different varying bump rubbers on the left rear for different heights, different tracks. We also have adjustable uh, rebound and compression, and we uh, typically carry about uh, 10 to 15 styles of uh, compression ratios and rebound ratios. Probably similar to NASCAR, but uh, it's become really evolved for dirt track racing in the last few years. Sprint car racing is really catching up on technology. Uh, every, every bolt in this car is titanium, provided by Smith bolt kits. Also, all our lines are carbon fiber, quick release lines provided by BMRS, and. Uh, we, we definitely like to keep up with technologies, can make a car as light as possible. Every component is maximized, be it titanium, carbon fiber, so uh, we're really catching up. Some of the adjustments our crew chief Sonny Kratzer likes to do during the races will involve uh, varying torsion bars, spring rates here. We also have an adjuster, which adjusts your heights and your weight positions, uh, air pressures. We also have, uh, obviously, the shocks we talked about before. Uh, we have a, like a 12-inch range on our wing. We can go backwards and forwards. And definitely the big adjustment to the spring rates in the back. Uh, we position our right rear within about two inches, in or out, same as the left rear. We have different wheel offsets and uh, whips we run. And uh, through the course of the night, if you get that combination right, you're probably going to have a good night and win. Well, here it is. I'm in the cockpit in my Butlerville seat. Uh, line of sight, I can kind of just see over the front wing. Can't see the front tires. But uh, once you've sort of bumped in enough people, you figure out where that is. But, uh, after a while it becomes very comfortable, feels very spacious. Hope you enjoyed the 101. Got a lot of good people behind me that make this team happen. Bob Gavrinich, our owner, Sonny Kratz of the crew chief. We got Kyle and Lester on the crew. And uh, you know, it's an exciting sport. We're really excited about it and uh, thank you very much.